Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to X4 Foundations, and I'm not playing the, my previous save where I'm trying to help the Xenon take over. We are back in my Terran save. So let's actually turn that off for a minute. There. So I'm back in my Terran save, so I have all my Terran assets, and I have Clint and my Terran sectors. All of these belong to me. And the Kingdom's End DLC should be active. So we are going to make our way, and I have a lot more stations in this save. It's been a while, I should familiarize myself with the save after. Do, 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 do. So we're going, actually, we're in the asteroid. Let's take the asteroid to uh, meet the boron. This is also Astrid. I so I also disable mod because this is the mod I'm intending to use with the online venture stuff. Autopilot engage. Right, let's see, is there a new objective in my mission offers thing? Not anywhere near here. And how's the Earl King follow? What's this? Cerberus, Vanguard. Okay. So let's see, what exactly do I have? Let's see. Argon Prime High Tech Factory, right, that's the one producing hull parts. Computer Trunk Substrate. Might. Resort my mining stations from when mining was bugged. Asteroid tech I built factory. What are you producing? Okay, silicon carbide and metallic. Okay. Pharmaceutical goods. Entering system. Some of my Duke stations. I have a scrap processor in here. I am prophecy more uh, stuff stimulants. I have a trading station. What's this? Oh, right. This is my um. This is the station I have to basically prop up the Holy Order. Man, they just—they've got a lot of stations. I have—I really should have looked at this beforehand. My headquarters is in memory of Prophet. These are my semi-defense stations right here, aren't they? High-tech factory. Let's have a look. Yeah, these are the stations I have primarily for defense, but they have some resource modules to provide some basic resources. Danger. At entering Arca's Cascade. 15. Still no missions. Uh, I just kind of want to double check. Yeah, Kingdom's End is on. My recycle ships and stations is off. Jump gate. I take fast choice. I'm not sure if that how well that recycle ships and stations. I don't. I think the way I forgot my socks set up. I don't think it should change and get impacted that much by the uh, patches. I should have two stations in this sector, shouldn't I? Oh, no, the split have uh, kind of moved in here. Danger. Hazardous there is a new resource field, I think, in one of these sectors to help out the uh, split. Entering system. I take last choice. I see they still haven't fixed the asteroid sound. This automated lesson is being broadcast exclusively in the proximity of Reddit's end. Signs indicate that we will imminently witness the extraordinarily rare reactivation of a jump gate. The Alliance of the Word has assembled an expedition to stop this rare event. A reactivation able to be investigated. 
Scientific inquiry is an exceedingly uncommon opportunity. You are welcome to join us. There we go. So I should have a mission offer now, I guess. Yep. Accept. Hi, Numancoret. Welcome you in my capacity as commanding officer of this expedition. The Alliance of the Word is a collective of scholars and scientists intent on advancing understanding through cooperation. Word reached us from the Boron of King Demand some months ago via the Messenger Drone Network. It seems they may be making some headway with their gate technology experimentation. At first, I will admit, we dismissed the notion. So many scientists have tried and failed to interact with the gate network. But now, the dormant gate at Heretic's end is showing infrequent, but undeniable signs of activity. This may or may not be related to the Boron experiments, but the timings coincide too stark to be born. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. We could be reuniting with our Boron brethren. Equally, we could find ourselves welcoming a fleet of Xenon destroyers. This expedition was tasked with resolving the many unknowns of this situation. We need scouts willing to help us explore this unknown space. So that'll be us. Oh, that kind of uh, I think they're kind of suggested I should have brought a combat ship, not a yacht. Entering system, Morning Star. Autopilot disengaged. So away we go. So where's the Earl King in regards to the rest of my... F well, it's a sector behind. I do love the yacht. <laughs> Even though it's utterly impractical as a ship. I think I got the wrong color scheme on it, though. Entering system. Heretics end. So how far out are we going? That's not too bad. And we have arrived. Um, isn't there supposed to be ships out here? Oh, there they are. I should transports. Autopilot disengaged. I am delighted to see that everyone has made it. Explorer, please fall into formation to accommodate the remaining attendees. So many ships. I cannot believe we are actually here. Ready to witness something truly historic. That a Tokyo? The Terran Secret Service has been alerted to potential gate activity. <laughs> the Intervention Corps has been ordered to undertake a threat assessment with regard to the potential impact on Seoul territories. We can only guarantee everyone's safety as long as the expedition remains close to the Intervention Fleet. However, we advise everyone to stay clear of our firing arcs. Initial scans indicate some activity. We will need to get closer for a more thorough read on the situation. Mission specialist, approach the gate nacelle and interface with it to initialize a direct data stream for our onboard science team. Affirmative. Oh, I thought that was going to be us. <laughs> Approaching the jump gate. And so is this Lexi lady. I was definitely expecting us it to be us though. Activating scanner. Accessing nacelle. Data stream is initialized. It looks like. Oh. Fall back. The energy is spiking. Battle stations. Oh, that is a cool Prepare effect. Prepare to engage. Uh, 
nothing? Well then. Intervention Corps, prepare for traversal. The expedition shall fall close behind. Mission Specialist, remain here and establish an outpost to derive a complete reading of the gate's coordinate data. On it, sir. Godspeed, everyone. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not working again. What is going on with my joystick today? Really doesn't want to cooperate today. Wow, what is going on? I'm going to pause recording while I try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, I'm back. It looks like it was just the dead zone settings. I increased the dead zone uh, up to from 15 to 20, and it's back to normal. So let us head on through with our yacht. <laughs> And let's see what we find on the other side. We're going to beat the Terran Intervention Corp, Corp through. Entering system. Watchful gaze. Preliminary scans indicate that this system is uninhabited. No sign of boron or any other kind of life, biological or artificial. This cannot be true. Are you certain that the sensors are not malfunctioning? It has been so long. I really thought this might be the day I finally reconnect with my kin of the Finn. Take heart, Boron Exile. You may yet be a step closer to your reunion. Explorer, we need some detailed system mapping. The task is in your hands. There is much to learn here. Not the most exciting surprise. But preferable to the excitement of an unexpected Xenon Enclave, I suppose. <laughs> That's a lottie. Alright, I don't want to explore this whole thing myself, so we're going to call in some help. Let's see, what do I have? I have a patrol and holy. Hmm. Could bring them in. Let's bring these guys in. They're a little faster than my normal ships, so. Now we have help on the way. Now let's see if we can find anything. Alright, we're gonna try... Let's, let's get closer to the center and try another long-range pen. Autopilot. Engaged. Now there is a sec. Preliminary data has identified some points of potential interest. We are having trouble logging on to exact locations at this range. See if you can pinpoint them for us. Well, I guess set to active. Oh. Autopilot engaged. Let's head out then. Okay. 
exploring the yacht. <laughs> Oh, what's this right there? Autopilot disengaged. Unknown object. Oh, hi. Um, it's I not in very good shape. We should take a closer look. It is definitely not in good shape. Do they want us to get out, I wonder? Let's get to the elevator. Let's get to the airlock and find out. Oh, this is red. new transporter room. Your ship sensors are picking up a weak energy signature amongst the debris. The foreign ships were supposed to be blue. Wait, is that, what are these markings? Burn marks? Repair the repair panel. See if you can repair the panel to gain access. All right. Guess we're going this way. Whoa. Oh right, there's this new coll the new collision system is uh Whoa Full stop. Okay, maybe we're not supposed to be inside these arms. Is this a way in? I supposed to get to that? Let's try going to the very front and have a look in. Or not. Way in? No, that's more of the arms. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the very front and see if there's a way in. Some turret mounts on this thing. that there's a little wave of something from it coming from that star over there it looked like maybe 
Maybe we're supposed to go in through the back, through the debris. No, I don't see a way in there. Oh, there it is. Come on. What's the range on this thing again? I can't remember. Oh, that's a nice big box. Sorry, Buster, I just need to shut you up for a minute while I, uh, teleport back to the Astrid. Where is the Astrid? There it is. The I'm not... Is woefully incomplete, but it appears that this was an outpost of some man. There are signs of an attack from several directions. It seems that the operators would have had little, if any, time to react. How frustratingly peculiar. I am forwarding all of this to our esteemed expedition commander. Perhaps he can garner more clues. I have my doubts, though. All right, let's go grab the other clue. New Moncret, sir. Our team confirms that the Heretic's End Gate does indeed contain the coordinates to the Kingdom End system. The timing cannot be coincidental, can it? Just after we received word from the Boron? Is it possible that their experiments were somehow related to the gate reinitialization? Coordinates and timing are relevant, but not conclusive. The fact of the matter is that this is definitely not Kingdom End. Interstellar messenger drones are not the fastest form of communication. We do not know what has occurred on the Boron side since their last message. Theoretically, a connection between the two gates is possible, but that is just a theory. It could well be that the systems were linked to the distant past. Yes. Unfortunately, a theoretical compatibility does not mean much in itself. If activating or reprogramming these gates were easy, I am certain I would have overcome the challenges long ago. <laughs> the oh, he's so didn't humble. exactly give you a choice over your research focus. Could this be the Boron? Could they really have unlocked jump gate technology? Perhaps. Perhaps not. At this Wait. Point, any further hypothesis would be mere speculation. Until we have more evidence, keep your ideas off general comms. If you must elaborate your theory, Feel free to put them in writing. Well, I just heard a long range. Is my ship sending out long range pins now? Wait. I think I am picking up. Oh no. Never mind that. Nothing of interest here. This system's peculiar conditions make getting accurate readings rather troublesome. Awaiting orders. I could have sworn I was hearing long range pings, but that can't be from my scout because it's all the way over there. We have an unidentified ship on an intercept trajectory. This is our first contact in the newly opened network. We have no idea of who they are or their intentions. Investigate, and if possible, make contact, but maintain vigilance. Oh my! Aliens! Please, do not be afraid. I shall disengage my armament. Greetings. I am so pleased to make your acquaintance. Incredible. Finally, contact with our aquatic allies. Bosota, are you receiving this? 
Boso? Boso? What did you there. say? A boron? <laughs> Truly? A living, brilliant boron? Are my ocular sensor organs deceiving me? <laughs> Allow just... me to introduce myself. I am Boso Tar, and I can barely recall another boron face. I have been riven from my people for that long. Will you please deign to share your time with me? I am Mila T, adventurer extraordinaire. I would be delighted to spend time with you. As appointed delegate of the Alliance of the Word, please allow me to extend my greetings to you and your people. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Mila T. I do not have any official capacity as such. But it is marvelous to be seeing actual people from beyond the disconnected gates. Oh. How did you get here? Has a gate reopened? Are we connected once more? Oh, I knew it would have to happen eventually. What joyous news! <laughs> She's cute. Momentous news indeed. Although we are less than clear on how this has occurred, there was speculation that the boron triggered the gate reinitialization. Messages from your scientists indicate working on such a task. Please, can you direct us towards Kingdom End? You were in contact with Kingdom End? That is marvelous news. Uh-oh, she's not. It has been decades since we were cut off. We have heard nothing in all that time. The severing of the connection with Nishala has been indescribably distressing for all of us. Nishala's their homeworld. My system is in profound turmoil. I... I... To meet a fellow Boron after all these years is an incandescent joy. But to find that you, too, are cut off from the homeworld is a misery. More than you know, Bosota. We have all mourned this loss. Without access to Kingdom End, your Queen and Parliament, how do you govern yourselves? After the severance, there was a period of chaos until a royal steward was appointed. I have had dealings with him. It would be my pleasure to make an introduction. We must be cased. There is much to be discussed with your leadership. Follow me, you cavalcade of curious creatures. <laughs> For a society not headed by a queen? This is somewhat hard to fathom. Indeed, Bosotar. From your own experience, you understand the pain of separation. I doubt other species appreciate the biological depth of our harmonious societal interconnection. It was worse than it is now. It used to be that all our systems were isolated. Severed, not just from Kingdom End, the Queen and Homeworld Nishla, but also from each other. Fortunately, several of our systems reconnected to each other eventually, but none received word from home. Reorganization became a necessity. The provinces adrift, as we call ourselves, were only ever intended to be temporary. But under the royal steward, it has grown into a comprehensive governing body. But some of us have never given up on Kingdom End. Your communication with the homeworld is momentous in the extreme. Not a soul in these systems has found evidence of where the Kingdom End even still exists. Oh, there's the gate. Autopilot was having trouble matching speed, so I decided to do it manually. Ship. Surely this indicates that our reports are correct. The it sounds like a Solarian. has indeed resumed its function and brought our province into alignment with our erstwhile allies. You must realize what this means. All the resources of the Commonwealth are now within reach. At long last, a chance to end the shortages. Pick up the pace. Man, they're getting right to business, aren't they? 
I must warn you, the provinces adrift are not awash with the luxuries of the old kingdom. The pain of severance has been constant, but our economy has also suffered. The shortages of essential goods have cut deeply. Reconnection with the network may alleviate some of these issues, at least. What's this ship? Guppy. Gila T, you bring us guests, outsiders, with a fleet no less. What have you been up to? Awaiting orders. More than that, Royal Steward, I bring momentous news. The fleet, this Paranid led fleet, it came from the dormant gate in watchful gaze. They have communicated with Kingdom Ends. They have no Kingdom End gate. But they have communication. We are connected to the network once more. My word, the if. The delegation seeks an audience. May I? Yes, yes, of course. There is so much to discuss, so much to consider. Royal Steward, would it be in order for me to accompany the delegation? I am sure you have other things to do. Diplomacy is not the same thrill as exploration. Please, Royal Steward, with your permission, of course, Neela T. By all means, accompany the delegation. Look at the ship's texture, the way it glows. And it moves. I'm tasking you with joining us in meeting the royal steward. I may have need of your insights. And my fortune? You have clearly made an impression on the expedition commander. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. Watch this royal steward. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. Can I just talk to him from space? Nice channel open. Nope. Goodbye. So I guess I am coming aboard. This does this thing have an an S stock on it? It has a few S stocks on it. Let's see. Do I have a ship I can bring over? Because the Earl King's not far. All right, I'm in the Noden Vanguard. That's that's a nice, decent-sized ship. Whoa! So I shall bring the Noden Vanguard forward. Have it dock with the Guppy. Where's the Earl King? There it is. I'll have the Earl King fly up to meet us. In the meantime, it is time to get up. We'll spacewalk over because we have the time. Astrid. Guppy. So yeah, I'll talk to this guy and then I'm going to end the episode and I'll have immediately get to up editing and uploading. No, that I don't actually do much editing. Docking granted. My Ropalium near explodes with the joy of welcoming esteemed visitors. This historic occasion is the first of its kind. I am Leda V, royal steward of the provinces adrift. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen and as her loyal servant, it is my profound pleasure to welcome an emissary of the Perinid Empire. And once business is out of the way, I insist you join me on a more informal tour. Esteemed Royal Steward, Lita Wee, thank you for your most gracious welcome. You must forgive me. I, Numankaret, am no Empire Emissary. I represent the Alliance of the Word, a diplomatic forum and scientific organization funded by various races across the network. My, my. 
But do you have letters patent from the Empire? The provinces adrift are in dire straits. We must negotiate terms of assistance. I am compelled to reiterate. I do not speak for the Paranid authorities. Though we do bring news which may bring joy, we have been in communication with King Demand. Limited, fragile communication, but communication nevertheless. Some months ago, we received word from your homeworld. It was heartening to discover that the Boron Corps has survived the shutdown and learn of their most ambitious endeavor. Their entire scientific resources are focused on understanding and manipulating jump gate technology. We humbly request your permission to investigate the dormant jump gates in your territory and to set up a scientific outpost in the region, should that be required. There are so many implications to consider. This really is momentous. I am afraid I must decline your request, for now. We cannot be precipitous. By the glistening waters of Nishala! I fail to understand. We ask for no more than your permission. We certainly have no wish to be a drain on your resources. Leader we. They are trying to connect us with Kingdom End. I have more they than enough resources. Neela T, this obsession with finding home is entirely yours. You may have the luxury of gallivanting around the galaxy in search of miracles, but I, I have responsibilities. I have the welfare of billions of souls to consider. Our guests have already made clear that the outside network, with all its resources, has been unable to connect with our home world. The priority at this juncture is the welfare of our people, and I shall not be distracted from that. Honored host, we will of course expedite communications with the governments of the network. I am sure emissaries are preparing as we speak. Yet, if we could simply... Enough, please. I understand your request, but I do not think you understand what is at stake. Please have patience, but for now, the matter is settled. Outrageous! The Boron Queen's government itself is racing to reconnect, and you decline to facilitate? What kind of royal steward are you? Please! There is nothing to be gained from trading insults. This is absurd! Our work is of the utmost importance! Your obduracy is beyond me. I shall take my leave. Heading to the dock, awaiting pickup. <sighs> That certainly could have come better, but all may not be lost. Indeed. The royal steward seems somewhat overwhelmed by the news. Maybe it's a good idea to just listen to him. Understanding his fears might help calm them. Let's talk to the um, Paranid before he- Whoa, that's a nice door. Oh, it just slides out of the way. Uh, he said he was going to the docking bay. Understand the gravity of our mission. Withholding his consent, we shall continue without it if necessary. Um, patience towards the closed-minded will probably be something this parent responds to. Mm, you may have a point. Perhaps his simple mind cannot grasp all the variables <laughs> at play. I wonder if we can help him to see the bigger picture. He is afraid. Yes. Or she, whatever. All right. Lead is afraid. Obvious. I cannot help but wonder if there is more to the issue than that. Perhaps he is overly attached to his role as Prime Administrator of the Provinces. A reunion with King Demand would inevitably result in him having to relinquish power and standing. Okay, we've already said that one, so yeah, I'll say goodbye. I said it was going to the episode, but this is just too- I, I want to know what's going on, so we're going to keep going for a little bit. The Protectorate has determined that this system poses no threat to the citizens of Seoul or the wider network. Our orders are to deploy to a position of more strategic importance. Still, stay alert. None of us know what might be lurking out there. The Alliance of the Warren thanks you for your support. You shall proceed alone from here on. Our military friends are needed elsewhere. The steward and I have had our differences in the past, but 
but I had no idea he would be so stubborn. I like the title, Adventurer Extraordinaire. I'm so very sorry you had to witness that embarrassingly discordant display. Leader we and I disagree on much, but he is not a bad person. You know, he is just... scared. Uh, what is he afraid of? I think he is scared of falling short. He carries the weight of the expectations of the entire provinces. He wants to keep everyone safe, and I think he fears that your expedition will exacerbate an already dangerous situation. Um, that's a good question. What yes, dangerous? Yes, fraught with danger. The provinces lie uncomfortably close to Kark territory. When Sanctuary of Darkness first connected to the provinces, it triggered regular attacks. We barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together. Thankfully, the waves have calmed for now. The Kark incursions eventually ceased. All attempts to communicate with these enigmatic creatures have failed. So I would hesitate to call it a ceasefire. It is more of a lull in hostilities. As you can imagine, the situation remains rather fragile. Um, and what's the uh, quest for home? Oh, you took note of that, did you? Time after time, I approach Leader Wee for the resources to find our way back home. But he has come to the conclusion that efforts spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the Queen's subjects is a duty for me. You see... I do not like to draw too much attention to it, but I myself am the progeny of stranded minor royals. Before you bow or anything like that, I am not part of the direct line of... She's a princess. And that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Yet, it drives me to find a path back home, for the people to once again delight in a reunited merry realm. <laughs> is she going to be queen by the end of this? Because I can see that happening. All right, Pleasant that's it for travel. this. Oh, auto saving. Um, but yeah, I can see this um, Mila T girl becoming um, royalty because she says she's not part of that line of succession, but she's assuming the line of succession is intact. There could be um, a lot more chaos back home than she expects. So anyways, let us... Where's the door? There's the door. Well, let's go to the bridge and talk to, uh, what's-his-face. Auto saving was a lot quicker, though. Ah, the silent one from our disappointing introduction. Um, are you okay? I regret my approach at our meeting. You see, I have not hosted a diplomatic function in decades. Unfortunately, I am simply not in the habit of communicating with anyone other than Boron, you see. We Boron converse amongst ourselves, relying on complex structures of pheromones, not just mere words. There was so much to communicate, so much to cogitate upon, yet the words failed to convey my meaning. You must imagine it like painting an ocean yet having only a single shade of blue with which to do so. Why are you in this situation before I suggest reconvening? From time to time, I spend the waking nights pondering the very same question. It would be misleading to cast blame for all our miseries on the Great Shutdown. In fact, when we were first riven from the wider network, the vast majority of our Boron systems remained connected between themselves. Isolated from external threats, we commenced a new age of reflection and scientific endeavor. And while this period of peace brought the wealth of Kingdom M to fabulous new heights, we were not complacent. Resources were stockpiled throughout the Queendom, a precautionary measure. Oh, we thought we were prepared. Yet, in truth, we were far from it. We Boron are inherently connected to each other, you see? We thrive on a collective sort of innate affinity. Once that connection was severed, each system found itself in complete isolation. 
Things fell apart quite quickly, I'm afraid to say. Productivity collapsed catastrophically. Stockpiles were depleted far more rapidly than anticipated, and there was no way to replenish them. After years of disarray, Great Reef finally reconnected with barren shores. Later, it was joined by several other systems. The provinces adrift were founded, but by then the damage was done. We still lack crucial resources. I contend that it was the collective psychological toll of the severance that caused this, more so than the evident logistical challenges posed by the shutdown. Seriously, I can solve this. I have enough money. <laughs> um, if you help, we could... Use Nila's ties to increase your standing. Let's I am see fully is. aware of Nila T's royal connections. Is it your opinion of me that I am some petty functionary who Oops, can be not bought, the right way to do sold, that. bribed by the highest bidder? You misjudge me, and you misjudge Nila T. For all our disagreements, I cannot conceive that she would be party to such a grubby approach. Of course I desire the return of the provinces adrift to the warm embrace of the homeworld. But what kind of servant would I be if I did so at the expense of the welfare of those under my charge? Perhaps there's a positive solution. About the threat. Uh, we use force to resolve the situation. Oh, God. <laughs> That's, um... Uh, ah, I do not like one. that one. Our disappointing introduction. Um... I guess I don't think we've actually asked why we're in this situation. Time to time, I spend yep, we did. The waking nights pondering mm. the same question. It would be misleading to cast blame for all Is there our way to skip this? on the great shutdown. Oh, there we go. That cut it. Ah, the um, so I guess we could suggest force. Uh, permanently wiping them out is your solution. To simply exterminate a species? I understood that you entered our provinces in pursuit yep. of scientific okay. enlightenment, not bloodshed. You casually countenance atrocities as though they were insignificant. Were you brainwashed by the militants of Seoul? <laughs> no, thank you. If we can maintain peace, we shall do so. I find no reassurance in your words, only distaste. My principal concern is the welfare of the Boron of the provinces. Your expedition will expose them to needless jeopardy. Really, this is Numankaret. You have underestimated both the influence of the Alliance of the Word and the importance to the network of reconnecting with Kingdom End. As we speak, our representatives are in conference with our allies. The agenda is how and indeed whether there should be trade with the provinces adrift. Your ludicrous obstruction leaves me no choice but to twist your arms. Uh, Fins, if your economy is your priority, then I hold the keys to unlock it. Blackmail? You, Numankaret, are no scientist. You are a brigand and a charlatan. And yet, you leave me no choice but to accede to your dangerous demands. But mark my words, you have made no friends here in the provinces adrift. Someday, you may regret that. I think I messed up. With the gate and watchful gaze reactivated, to our knowledge only three more dormant gates remain in province space. One is located in Ocean of Fantasy, another in Barren Shores. The final one was discovered by scouts in Sanctuary of Darkness. If Sanctuary of Darkness sounds foreboding, you may find that the name is fitting. It is host to a significant Ka'ak infestation. Ugh. Even uttering the name makes my fins tingle. Yet I must remain firm on the matter. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the Ka'ak. Every interaction with them results in horrific conflict. You have our word, Lita Wee. We shall do everything in our power to avoid undue provocation. Thank you. And may I bestow upon you a gift? As a sign of goodwill to move past our altercation? We have prepared for you a fighter ship. A humble gift, but hopefully it will be of use to you in the times ahead. Explorer, you have done well to secure access for us to continue our mission. Please, claim the scout ship as your own.
This thing is tiny. How do we, how do we even get in? Marco. Push. Oh. Oh, this is okay. I love this ship now. <laughs> that is cool. You need to investigate the dormant gates to formulate the next <laughs> step of our expedition. I am already familiar with the gates in Ocean of Fantasy. If you supply me with the necessary equipment and provide me with a few pointers as to what exactly I am to do, it would be my deepest pleasure to assist. Excellent. The Alliance shall investigate Baron Shores. That only leaves the matter of the final gate, the location of which is somewhat more precarious. Explore, you have excelled thus far. Put that new fighter of yours to good use, and find Sanctuary of Darkness. It seems that like you are best suited to this task. I love the elevator. Anyways, we're going to do that in the next episode. I will see you in the never crossed my mind that they might be in such impoverished circumstances. I know that the Alliance has received communications from Kingdom End, but those were dispatched decades ago. Hopefully, they have fared better than the Boron here. I am curious about the contents of their message. Just how much of their preliminary findings have they shared with their Alliance counterparts? Once we have gained access to both gates data, maybe the Alliance really intends to conduct experiments from our side too. Trying to manipulate Gates would be an incredibly involved undertaking. Yet it seems as though Numancoret is single-minded about the whole endeavor. Can you imagine the possibilities that would be open to us if we could manipulate these gates at will? Thanks to the newly opened trade routes, we have commenced rebuilding our shipyard. You are, of course, most welcome to aid us in our undertaking. Your efforts will, of course, be lucratively compensated. So that means we have a new quest for building something, don't we? Blazing the trail, find an act of... Uh, is it a mission offer? Oh yeah, deliver click front. Okay. You know what, let's accept. 50,000, that's not much. Autopilot, disengage. Autopilot engaged. Yep, but we're not taking the Mako into uh, that system. We're going to take something a little more tough. Anyways, I think I'm going to just drop this thing off at the headquarters. We'll call it Boso's ship. I have arrived at my designated inactive gate. I shall commence taking readings immediately. There. Honestly, this elevator thing is my favorite part of the ship. Genuinely my favorite part of the ship. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.